Now on display in New York City, the rich culture of Latin America. Lilia Luciano takes us on a visit to El Museo del Barrio. Well, here we are. In a bodega, or corner store, in New York's East Harlem. Hola, buenas. Salud, ¿cómo está? Lucia Hierro so these crackers. is rediscovering food relics from her childhood. And the conconete, the oh, coconut pastries. Yeah, I these are Dominican. It's a shared experience in many barrios. There's always Ooh. a the bodega cat. <laughs> or Latino neighborhoods throughout America. And there are the famous takis. For Hierro, who has a master's in fine art from Yale University, the bodega is a beacon for inspiration transforming bags of chips. Oh, wow, so it's cloth. Yeah, it's that very, was... like, fuzzy. Into larger-than-life creations. We'll rub up against these things and kind of ignore them and, and take them for granted. Her objective um, is to realize. appreciate what's often overlooked, that the products, the people that make them, and the communities that consume them matter. The work could be seen as sort of cutesy, uh, bodega art, and then when we look at who are the people that are working to make these Fritos, who are the people that are actually behind um, selling them in these bodegas, and what are those economies like, and how are they shifting? Big, small, playful. Are they helping each other up? Provocative. Hierro's art is among works of more than 40 Latinx artists participating in Manhattan's El Museo del Barrio's triennial show. This is Riley Vasquez. He's actually the youngest artist in the show and producing these really beautiful paintings of his family in the Dominican Republic. Wow, yeah. Susanna Temkin is the co-curator. What is the intention of this triennale, of this show? It's really a survey of contemporary Latinx art, but there's a lot of different um, subject matter that I think audiences, I hope they read into it, whether that's exploring issues of race, of family, of um, commodities and consumption. There's a lot of food presence. My eyes are drawn to the neon. On and the display, color. a celebration oh, of color, sizes. culture, and identity. This image here is just, I've seen it a million times, right? Also, these are, you know, kind of four lease signs. So this idea of gentrification, perhaps, that might be taking place in this site. There are snapshots of everyday life, seen in photographs, and paintings. This piece here is, is just screaming to me. There are also deeper themes and darker ones. This is a series of works called Strange Fruit by Vincent Valdez. They're meant to evoke the Mexican Americans who were lynched over the course of US history. You know, a Which part of our history, about. exactly, yeah. that, that gets overlooked. A force of reckoning weaves through many of the pieces. That thread has existed at the core of El Museo del Barrio since its founding, half a century ago, by a small group of people who sat in a cold, darkened basement. When we could see our breasts, and we were talking about building a museum, and we asked each other, well, who knows anything about a museum? And everybody looked at it and said, I don't know, I don't know. Jairo Maristani was among El Museo's early directors, and in time, he helped build one of the nation's leading Latino cultural institutions. We were bringing our best artists to train our children. He's also an acclaimed photographer. Well, this is the center of uh, El Barrio. Who was born and raised just a few blocks away. What is El Barrio to you? El Barrio is where I grew up. It's what I know. It's what I'm comfortable, a feeling. It's my home. From the moment he picked up a camera, Maristani was rebelling against the narrative of how Puerto Ricans and Latinos were depicted. Most of the images of us were when we were handcuffed. Most of the images of us were we engaged in some kind of act of violence or an act of violence or, uh, against us. So I was very, very angry about that. And I was also very naive, but I thought that I could balance it. I could give a different representation of it. And I could show us that we're not that, we are this. And I'm still at it. As are artists like Lucia Hierro, fulfilling a mission of a museum and a culture. 
What do you hope the next generation will get from seeing your art? That their stories are important, that everything that they've experienced and seen is worth you know, making art about and, and you know, sharing that with the world.